In this tutorial, we're going to teach you how to set up your inquiry response trigger. This will mean that you can set up automatic emails and SMSs to be sent from any website you capture leads from. For example, all of your REA and domain inquiries. First of all, in the engine area, we'll go into triggers and select the view all option. You will see here you have the inquiry response trigger. Select the edit option and you can make that active by selecting the active option. In the trigger events option, if you hit the edit, we actually have some filters that you can apply. If you only want your sales inquiries to be replied to and none of your rentals, select the inquiry sales only option and then hit the edit event. If you leave this empty, it will mean that the auto replies will happen for all rentals and sales inquiries that come into your office. So let's do this just for sales now. We can edit the event and we can see that the trigger action, whenever an inquiry comes in, is using the trig inquiry response DNA. We'll hit the edit option to save our changes, and we can now look at what's included in that DNA plan. Inside the engine, in the DNA plans, we'll select view all. We can type our search for trig, and we will then locate the inquiry response DNA plan. Select the edit plan option, and inside this plan, you will see as a default, it has an email which is using the inquiry response template, which is going to be sent immediately. If we hit the edit option, you can see the template that is being used and that it is happening automatically to the trigger inquiry contact. If you already have an auto inquiry email template built, you can select it from this list and change it from our default one. Once you've done that, hit the save option. If you would like to add an SMS as well to go to your inquiries, you can use the SMS option. In the required entity, select inquiries, select your template and a default one we give you that you can add is called inquiry SMS reply. And you'll automate this and the recipient will be the trigger inquiry contact. In the assign to, you can see if it's coming from a specific person in the office or it's best to use a dynamic assign to and we're going to use that as the assigned agent that's on the property or the listing agent that's on the property. In the timing, immediate will mean that it will send this immediately along with the email immediately. But you actually have some cool tools inside the schedule area to say, well, when we get an inquiry from the application, I want the SMS to send five minutes after we receive the inquiry. And I can save that. Now using this concept of adding an SMS, you can add as many emails or SMSs to the inquiry response DNA and automate those. An example of another one you may like to create is an email seven days after every inquiry to make sure the buyer has all the information they need and if they need further information, they can respond to the email. So you can add quite a lot more detail to these DNA plans, but for now we have an immediate email and a five minute delay on an SMS. Once you are finished, close the DNA plan and the final part is to go into the engine, into templates view all. And if you would like to edit our templates, you can search for trig for the email, which is the auto inquiry email template. Go into the edit area and on the paragraph, you can hit edit and change any text you need over here on the right. Once you are finished, hit the save widget options and then save and close. Also in the SMS, you can go into the trig you can edit the inquiry SMS reply by hitting the edit option and changing your standard text. Once you have finished this, you can save and close that down. Now that you have edited both the email and the SMS and you have activated your trigger, this means that any inquiry that LockedOn is capturing will now have the DNA plan set that will send an automatic email and an SMS to them five minutes after if they have a mobile number.